Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be bringing the Hebrides over and then we're going to be giving them a treatment for flies because I've noticed flies have been bothering them the last little while. And today helping me out, bring them across and then take them back later on is the people's favourite, Kate the Great, the Queen of Sheep. Anyway guys, let's get into this video. quite a bit harder to control uh, when she's working a small herd compared to a big herd with a big herd Kate's, Kate's actually really good at herding but with these small herds she just tends to be a little bit too forward with the sheep and now we've got all the sheep just sitting in behind the gate not in the pen so let's see what we can do Come on, you two. Get out. Come on. All right, Kate, walk on. All right, steady, steady, steady. I don't know if you can see there, guys, the flies on them, especially this one. Let's see what's that? So guys, just got them in there. You can see the flies are bothering them. And uh, some of you who have been following for a while might have realized that uh, this is actually much later than I normally give them a protection from flies. And that's just been because of the unseasonably cold summer. It's been just a dreadful summer here in Scotland where, uh, well, it hasn't really been a summer. But the flies are out now much later than they normally are so we're going to get some protection on but i just noticed there as well we have uh, one sheep here who seems to have 
pulled its ear tag through or well it's caught its ear tag on something whether it's a fence i don't know or whatever but it's uh it's caused that to bleed so that could be another thing that's actually attracting these flies here is the smell of that blood uh and then obviously we've got a little female lamb here uh can sort of see the flies are annoying her ear as well so i don't know if those flies have actually been trying to get in where the tag is and that's what's caused that bleeding Anyway, guys, let's go on and uh, get these guys covered. Hey, guys. What I'm using here is just a pour on. So uh, a lot of people think of dipping when you think of this kind of thing. Dipping's kind of a thing of the past. Most of us use pour ons now, so it just sprays on the back. And they need two sprays each. And I want to leave a little to do in around the horns and ears as well. Escape. Oh well, let these ones out. Better pick you guys up first. Let's see, we've got two escapees there. We'll just get them back in. Run, sheep. You can see they're all nice and painted pink. Here come these. Kate, leave them. Kate, leave them. I actually might need Kate to get these back. He's going to come yourselves. Yours, just wait. You can see they're actually done. You could do with a bit on your horns, but flies don't seem to be bothering that one too much, really. So... Kate's already took them home. Yeah, Kate, up. Leave it up. So guys, sort of like a, what I was saying there. Uh, so the pour on goes along the back. It will prevent them, um, well, it'll prevent flies from landing and laying eggs and annoying the sheep too much. Then, especially with horned sheep, sometimes you want to get a little on the top for head fly because head flies love the sort of crevices around horns or where tags are and ears and things and they get in there they open it up and they start feeding on that blood and it's unpleasant for the sheep to say the least but anyway guys let's get them back across to where they're going well back across to their field i should say come back steady steady You've missed one.
we go guys, that was today's job with the little Hebrideen, so it's just a little job. Quick video here today, Kate seems to enjoy herself and we are going to head home and get out of all these flies. So thank you very much for watching guys and that'll do it, I'll see you in the next one.